you have to make this occhiette pasta with pink vodka, tomatoes, and burrata. It is absolutely delicious. And today, Alexi Foodies, I am going to teach you how to prepare this dish and show you just what you're gonna need. We're gonna start with the pastine occhiette pasta, some extra virgin olive oil, the kitchen-ready tomatoes, Pecorino Romano, the fresh burrata cheese, grape tomatoes, light cream, vodka, fresh basil, the vasanagol, chili flakes, cracked black pepper, garlic salt, fresh minced garlic, and sea salt. Now let's get cooking. Add the olive oil right into your pan. Now add in your grape tomatoes, seasoned to taste with some sea salt. Cook down for a couple of minutes, then remove and set aside. Now let's start the sauce. We're gonna add in some olive oil, some fresh minced garlic, the stinking rose, and some red chili flakes because I love pink spicy. Saute into lightly golden brown, then add in your vodka. Cook out the vodka for a few minutes, then add in your kitchen ready tomatoes. Give it a good stir and season to taste with some garlic salt and cracked black pepper. Now add in lots of fresh basil. Reduce your heat and start to simmer on low. Now it's pasta time. Don't forget to salt your water, why? Because mama always said, salt your water, make it taste like the sea. Give your pasta a stir so it doesn't stick. Now we're gonna emulsify the sauce until it's nice and silky smooth and slowly pour in that light cream. Give it a good mix. Now we're gonna fold in some beautiful grated Pecorino Romano. This will make it so creamy and rich. Look how beautiful that looks. Now cook your pasta until a perfect al dente. Drain your pasta and slowly incorporate that pink sauce right into your occhiette. Add a little more Pecorino Romano and some more fresh basil. Now we're gonna top the pasta with those beautiful tomatoes that we sauteed earlier and then break up some of that gorgeous creamy burrata cheese and put it all over the top. More fresh basil and then we're gonna drizzle that burrata with our pastine extra virgin olive oil. Add a little more Pecorino Romano. Now we are ready to plate it up and enjoy this amazing pasta dish. Does that look amazing or what? I can't wait to dig in. For this recipe and more, visit youhadmeakitchen.com. Like, share, and enjoy.